Welcome back to the channel guys. It is Marv. Excuse the sick voice today, but we gotta get this video out for the people. This is a blood hunt movement guide. Some would say the ultimate movement guide or the best movement guide or the greatest movement guide on YouTube. So strap yourself in. I'm gonna teach you how to move better in blood hunt. But before we get into today's video, I just wanna highlight a massive point from my previous video about the last update. There is a ridiculous number going on. Not subscribed to the channel. 92.6% of the people that aren't subscribed to the channel are watching these videos. Ridiculous. And subscribe people that are watching the channel, 7.4%. So that could be way better. Guys, help me out. Make sure you hit that sub button and drop a like on this video. And let's get this video out to all the blood hunt fanatics. Let's go. So the ultimate movement guide, the best, the greatest, the goat of movement guides for blood hunt. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to be doing is slide jumping. So many times I've been in random trios where nobody is slide jumping. Slide jumping is a basic mechanic. They teach it to you in the tutorial, but most people forget about it. Helps you to traverse the landscape a lot quicker and it helps you to look a lot cooler. No, really, it helps you to traverse a lot quicker and not be an easy target to hit people. So let's not be easy targets. Let's slide jump. And if you want to increase your slide jump, so the bonus tip for the slide jump is slide downhill. You've been in Elysium, you've slid downstairs, you know that you go further and you go faster. Try that on roofs and clear gaps that you probably wouldn't be able to be able to clear unless you were sliding and jumping. Okay, you got it? Get it? Good, next point. We have wall jumping or wall running. You can use this in conjunction with the first point of the slide jump, increase momentum when you're on the floor, and to enter and exit fights in a damn cool way that is very hard to hit if they've got terrible tracking, right? It's very hard to hit unless they've got aim up. So I've got a couple of clips, I'll put them up in this video right now of me wall jumping or well, one of my best wall jump attempts where I was very low on health. I was jumping between the walls, the guy couldn't hit me. I was able to get my cue off and get behind him and scare him and finish him. But this was all, if I just ran at him, I would have died immediately, correct? Don't run in straight lines, use movement, angles, slide, jump, wall jump, slide, jump, wall jump. That sort of momentum will scare players. My next point is use your movement ability for your class, to, your Q on P. So for your Bruja, use your jump. For your Torador, Torador? Is that how you say it? I can't get that shit right. Torador, use your like your, your phase uh, projection. That's what it's called, I think. And for my favorite, Nosferatu, use your vanish. And at the end of that movement ability, slide, right? Slide or use it to get onto a wall and then wall jump or wall run from there and then slide just that sort of momentum building goes a long way use your cue as much as you can use your cue as much as you can not when only when you're in fight to get to fights to traverse the map it will make it more dynamic and it will make this game super enjoyable this game has which is by far one of the best movement styles in any game ever really realistically and my last point is use momentum this game is all about momentum if you take anything away from today's video it is that you need to be using momentum if you've ever seen any parkour videos before you know that momentum is what wins them grand prizes in all their championships right that's what's going to win you a grand prize in blood hunt do not stop moving and try and hold on to the movement. Here is a clear and concise example for you. If you are going to jump off a roof, slide off said roof, slide jump, and then before you hit the ground, hit the slide button. This will stop you from having that sort of impact delay. You will go transition straight into a slide and then start running and then slide jump and then jump off a wall and then wall run. Right, keep that momentum going. You never want to come to a dead stop. What I mean by dead stop is like if you jump off a building and you land on the ground, you'll hear that shock sound, that and you will not be able to move for a second. That will get you killed in the gunfight because you can't move out of the way. That is my major key. Major key alert, use momentum, momentum. 
Now that's all I wanted to say guys, nothing flash, nothing long, nothing crazy. What do you think about this movement guide? Will this help a beginner player? Tag a beginner player, share this with them. Make sure you drop a comment if I've missed anything that would make your movement even better in Blood Hunt. I'm always open to criticism, I'm always open to hearing you guys and what you want. So comment down below what, you, what other Blood Hunt videos you'd like to see. Make sure you like the video and sub to the channel so we can get those rookie numbers of 7.9% or whatever it was of the people that are subscribed to the channel or watching the videos and the rest is the 92.1% whatever it was it's a crazy number right it's crazy so let's get those numbers up i'll catch you on the next one peace <laughs>